Yeah, this is the back. Um, I'm not sure how long it is. I'm going to style up just so you guys see. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl IJ. If this is your first time being here, you're welcome to this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. You are the best. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love if you can go ahead and hit on the subscription button. Do not forget to turn on the bell button as well, just so that when I upload, you will be notified. You don't want to be in the dark. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. So this is a hair video. I'm going to show you guys how I braid my hair. When I tell people that I do my hair myself, they'll be like, how do you do your hair yourself? How possible is that? And all of that. I've been doing my hair for a very long time, for years now. Now, ever since I was in the Caribbean island, I started doing my hair myself. And it's just circumstantial situation. I made the decision to do my hair myself. So um, I remember being in the Caribbean. When I got there, I didn't know many people. You know, you're in a strange place. You don't know how um, the culture over there is. You don't know where to do your hair, if you have to do your hair, or whom to contact, or things like that. When I got to the island, I had on single braids. So I had it for a very long time before I took it out. So when I took it out, I was like, okay, it's time to get something else done with my hair. But um, I couldn't find anybody to do my hair the way I wanted it. So I was going to this church, I spoke to this lady in church and she recommended somebody who goes to the same church like me who does hair. So I decided to um, go to her salon. I wanted a weave done on my hair but um, I didn't know how she was going to do it. So I requested when I got there, I was like, oh how much do you charge for a weave? She told me X, Y, Z. So I was like, okay, I want a weave done on my hair but I would really appreciate if I can sit in front of a mirror so that I can show you how I want my hair done. because. I'm very particular when it comes to my hair and that's just me I mean I'll, I will believe most hairdressers are like that if you do hair you know exactly what I'm talking about you want something done and you want it done a particular way so I told her that I would prefer to sit in front of a mirror just so that I can show you how I want it done and she was fine with that went through the entire process I showed her I wanted um, I had on afro at that time and I wanted some cornrows done at the front, then the cornrow will be at the end, the afro will be at the back. She did a very good job, it was very beautiful. But I was so sad that at the end of the day, when we completed the hair, she decided to increase my fee or the money that she charged me. She was like, oh, the hair looks so beautiful, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, but I showed you what to do with my hair. And I was very upset because I'm like, you told me this is how much you charge for weaves. So, I already prepared myself, prepared my mind, this is how much I'm going to pay. So you're telling me at the end of this whole thing that you decided to increase the money was not fair. But anyway, I went ahead, I paid her the money and I left. So from there, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going through this again. This other girl in my church who used to do her hair herself, in Nigerian, she used to do her hair all by herself. I'm like, hey, if this girl can do it, then I can do it as well. So I decided from that day that I'm going to start doing my hair myself. So that was how I started doing my hair myself. I will sit in front of the mirror, I have a mirror in front of me, I have another mirror behind. I'm looking at the mirror in front so I can see my back, the back of my head, and I do whatever I have to do. So it was just from that incident that I decided to start doing my, my hair myself. And then secondly, in my family, we don't really have, our hair is very thin and um, it easily breaks. If I don't take care of my hair, my hair the way I want to, I won't have hair in front, honestly. My mom doesn't have hair in front. She has a bamba. Those who know what bamba is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you want to see how I achieved this look or how I was able to do this hair all by myself, hey, just keep on watching and you will see at the end of the video. So I used two packs of this hair and this is the Kenyan Arts of Lotion X. I'm supposed to be very stretch already and it's from the bag it's fresh and just two packs. I normally go ahead and I separate my hair like that and there were places and I put it out just so it's easy for me to grab when I'm ready to start braiding. I find that that's the easiest way to do it and it saves me a bit. I 
I also use this shine and jam just for extra hole. I use it at the roots of my hair when I'm about to braid just to have everything slick and nice and it also allows me to grab um, the hair without having some drying out somewhere else. So once I separate the piece of hair that I'm about to braid, I take the hair extension and I separate it into three equal halves. So once I have that separated into three equal halves, I can start to braid my hair. But it's not in all occasions that I always have the hair extension separated in three pieces. There are instances where maybe my hair is much bigger or it's the same size as the hair extension. I normally don't separate it at that point, so my hair becomes a thick So once I separate the hair that I'm about to start braiding, I go ahead and I apply jam on the bigger piece or maybe the piece that I'm not going to braid, just so that all the hair is in one place. I don't have hair flying all over the place. But if my hair is much bigger, like in this situation right here, um, my hair becomes the third piece. I don't separate the hair extension in the four halves. So my hair becomes the third piece, so I just use the hair extension just to make like that. So, if you want to start doing your hair yourself, one thing I can advise is make sure you have two mirrors. Have a big mirror behind your back and the one that you want to be The bigger mirror at the back allows you to see the back of your face through the little mirror or the small mirror. So when you do that, it's much easier. So you can see the back, you see how you're cutting, you see if that's the size you're maintaining or you're changing or whatsoever. Having two mirrors, that is the deal with doing the hair. And then secondly, if you want to start doing the hair yourself, I would advise if you can start doing this very good um, single braid. That doesn't take too much time. It should take maybe one to two hours. It's really very big. It doesn't take so much time. And maybe if you don't know how to like really grab the roots properly, I would advise if you can find a mannequin head with hair and try to practice on it. And then another tip is I see many people out there now. Bands at the 
root of your hair goes for grabbing that too you can add a clip so if you want to do your hair yourself and you don't know how to grab the root use a rubber band that will help you grab the root as firm as possible and uh, yeah hope that works And just a little side note to those of you who want to start braiding your hair. I find that doing single braid is much better or easier than doing a cornrow. I'm saying this out of experience. I mean, I do hair all the time and I do my hair myself. So I notice that when you're doing cornrow on your hair, your hand is constantly on your hair. And because your hand is constantly up, you just have to feel the muscles of your, of your arm. Start to hurt you at some point, or you start to feel pain because the hand is constantly on your hair. But when you're doing single braid, once you attack the roots and you start to break your way down, you feel you don't feel that pain that you feel when you're doing a cornrow on your hair. So if you want to start doing your hair, I'm just advising. That's just my personal opinion. It's better or it's good if you can start with cornrow or with um, single braid. Then you can migrate to cornrow or something. Because cornwall, trust me, your hand hurts a lot. When I'm doing, when I'm cornwalling my hair, it takes me hours because I have to stop in between. I'm feeling pain on my head, on, on my arm, and stuff like that. So, if you want to take my advice, but if you don't want to, it's all up to you. I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing that out there just so you guys know. And if you're watching this video and you understand exactly what I'm talking about, like if you do your hair yourself and you do cornrow on your head, let me know if you feel the same thing. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't exercise and stuff like that. Maybe that's why I feel the pain. I feel the pain on my the muscles of my hand. But if you feel the same thing when you're doing cornrow on your head, please let us know in the comment section. Just share that information. Let me know. Maybe something wrong with me. So I'm just going to stop talking right now and play some music so we continue with this whole process. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys at the end of this video. Thank you and stick around. Or more so, if there are any videos you guys are interested in um, me doing about hair, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section below just so that I know exactly what you guys are expecting from me. Then we can write from there. So thank you so very much for all your help and your support and thank you for subscribing. Video, please leave a comment down in the comment section. Give me a huge thumbs up and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. I'll talk to you guys in another video. Thank you for sticking around. Yeah, this is the back. Um, I'm not sure how long it is. I'm going to start off just so you guys see. That's the big right there. And if I lift it up, that's just how it looks. And the bed, it's just how it looks. And that's the length of it. I like the color combination of the hair as well. So um, I got this hair online on Amazon. So if you're interested in the hair, I'm going to leave a link as well down in the description box if you're interested in this particular hair. And this is, according to the pack, it says 44, 42 inch. But this is definitely not a 22 inch length, but that's just what the pack says. Oof, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And I know it's very tiny. That's just how I wanted it to be because I want to carry this for a very long time. Trust me. I want to carry this for a long time. For a long time. The easiest way to do a ponytail with your hair, especially when you have so much hair, cut the tie into two and it just watch so this is what i do i take it to the back and i just pull it in front i do this then i fix the hair at the side in front to make sure it's flat as much as possible and then i tie
So this is just how I normally put my hair in a ponytail. And even when I want to make a high ponytail, like up here, or maybe a high bun, same concept. Same concept. Those are like the edges thing. You can put in some edge control right here. I'm calling it a day, but I'm not so fan of that, so that will stay right there. Right there. And if you want to conceal the band, just put hair at the bottom. Let's do this. There you go. We have ponytail. Ooh, I love this hair. So beautiful. And those of you who are inquisitive, you want to know how long it took me to do this hair. It took me about eight hours. See how little or tiny is it? it is. It took me about eight hours. I started it on Saturday. I took breaks in between. I don't sit for the whole nine yet for hair. I take breaks in between. Stop when I have to take care of the kids if I have to at some point. Do what I have to do as a wife and as a mother. And uh, continue the next day. 